What is going on guys, today we are looking at a squad builder around no other than Kostic. So it is going to be a Bundesliga squad builder. 300,000 coins is what it's going to cost and to be honest, I'm very impressed with it. I really didn't think that you could get this much for this cheap. And yes, there is some positions that you probably want to increase. There is better players. There is more special cards available. So it's kind of an interesting one. Obviously, we've got Kostic sitting in that left wing role. Like I discussed in the previous uh, review, which is obviously the video prior to this one, Kostic not a bad card. And I think he's got multiple positions that he could be in. But anyway, we are going to start with the goalkeeper. And there's no other than Manuel Neuer. He is a fantastic keeper. I think this is only the second or third time that we've actually played with him. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what he's like after the patches we've had. Um, obviously one big patch or semi big patch and then another one that wasn't actually that big. Next up we have Mbabu and just an absolute classic of a card. Such a fantastic player. Obviously we do want to see him get some special cards. Maybe a cheeky featured team of the week would be brilliant to get him up to that 84 85. Five. Then left back, we are cheaping out a little bit with a cheeky lone Alfonso. He is again another sensational left back. Really, really top class left back in this FIFA and even last. Hopefully again, more specials, more informs and he really can be that next level uh, left back. And then we have the two centre backs in Umpre Meccano and LaCroix. Going kind of bug standard with them. Obviously Umpre Meccano has himself a cheeky one to watch and LaCroix was kind of just just um, more because of links. I just don't know. It just looks really nice to have two Wolfsburg one side, two Bayerns the other, and obviously a Bayern and net. You could obviously go for the inform from Croatia. Don't actually know his name, but I know he's very quick, got a good strength. So again, you could argue either way. Then we have our midfields. We're going to just whack these straight in. We've obviously got a bit of Jude, who is just... I've got to flex the red a little bit. I know he's not necessarily the greatest red in the world, but he is still a red nonetheless. And then we have the partnership of the Kimmich and Goretzka. Again, going with the bind links, as we always do. To finish off, we have got another very flexible red in Gnabry, who is just another good, good player. Obviously, again, not the most meta, not the most expensive red in the world but most definitely not a bad one to get we got Jude Gnabry and we also got a Cramerich in the same week but we are going to finish off with Arman Lawan. You obviously have got people who have just missed out. Coleman, unfortunately, is in the same position as Kostic. You have obviously got uh, Sane on the other side in multiple versions. You've also got Haaland, who could go up front. Um, we are personally going to go with Lawan, as I think I've only used him once. And I've used Haaland a few times with actually having impact. But again, he is kind of low on his price now. But there is plenty of other players that you could whack in these positions. This is a 300k team. Um, obviously, it is in forms rather than red so it does counterbalance the the price of them but i think that's actually a pretty solid team for 300k we're going to show you some clips from it see if kostic can work his ma magic as well as obviously my man lawan and also Gnabry. so hopefully you enjoy let me know down below who you'd like to see next and let's get into some gameplay peace